email marketing extension for VTiger was designed to replace any other third-party tools such as MailChimp, Constant Contact, so you can do all the emailing and marketing for your business from VTiger versus going to third-party providers. Now let's take a look at how this extension works. First we have a list of our existing campaigns. In this case we have four that we already sent out and some of them are still in sending. So let's open up one just to see what it looks like. First we have our summary view where we can see the campaign information, what was the name, who was the sender, when it was scheduled and so on. We have ability to preview the template that was used in this particular campaign. We can then see the chart for how many were sent, queued, opened, unsubscribed, and so on as you hover. On it you can see the percentage shown for you. And if we scroll down, we have our totals listed that you can clearly see what's still queued, how many were sent, failed, opened, unopened, or unsubscribed. And then down below, we can see all the records that are part of this campaign. So in this case, we have 600, and you can click to preview the record if needed, or you can just go to another page and see when it was sent or failed. Next, we have option to pause the campaign, which will then be able to resume. And we also have an option to stop it in case we don't want to send emails anymore for this particular campaign. Up above we have details, which you can see again basic campaign information and down below we have delivery information and those fields can be used in views and reports. Next we see contacts, leads and organizations that uh, have been added to this campaign. And lastly we have emails and you can see all the emails sent to contacts, leads and organizations from this campaign. Let's go ahead and create a new campaign so you can see how easy it is to do so. We'll go back to our list and just hit create email marketing. First, we have to specify campaign name, so I'll put as test. Next, you can use the system email server, which is set up on your admin panel. Next, you can also select from individual email server that you set up for each user. This integrates directly with our multi-SMTP extension. You can install that from extension pack. So in this case we'll just use system server. We'll specify the name. Let's do VT experts and as well as email. Then we'll go to step two which is our marketing list. Now from here you can include to show lead contacts as well as organizations and as you can see down below it keeps adding filters so you can include the records say if you want to create a new custom filter you can just click create contact list specify it newsletter 2018 and say you want to only include leads or contacts that have a certain lead source. So let's do lead source equals to X. And then once you create this filter, it will then show up in the marketing list. So in this case, since we don't have lead source in this test environment, I will just create a fictitious condition say if our first name contains letter B then we want to see those as a list and now you can see this new list has just been created newsletter 2018 it's highlighted there are 22 records that match that criteria and I can simply load and it will add those records to our campaign I can scroll down I can load say all the leads and say if I want to do customer list for 2018 I can do that as well and you can see it keeps adding and totaling records on the campaign. You can also select individual records if that's what you need. Add this. And 
that's how it gets added. Also, you can load records from the previous campaign that we sent out. So that's also an option. So next step is to select the template. If we go to step three, and you can see these are the templates that we created for demo purposes. Um, you can click on one, and you have options to edit, duplicate, preview, or select. So I can just select like that, or I can also edit this existing template just so you can see how easy it is to create email templates. If I hit edit, new window opens up. This is the email template, and this is the text within the email template. And to switch to the Mosaico email template builder, just click here. It will open up a window with the template already pre-filled, and you can simply drag and drop elements to the template which will help you to design it very easily. Perhaps let's close this window and try to create a new template so you can see the process there. So hit create new email template. Let's put it as test, subject test. And now since there's nothing there you can put in just simple text if that's what you're after. But we recommend using the email template builder next you're able to select the template format um, usually we we'll go with the versatile template that has more options you click that and it opens a blank template so next you simply drag and drop your elements section text that's as simple as it gets now to add images you can always upload by clicking this icon or you can just go to the image gallery if you already uploaded any you can find those images here and it is as simple as dragging and dropping and adding those images to your template and if we close the gallery we can then go down and add more images or different formats of layout so basically it's very easy to use email builder so you can click on say we close the email template and then again so there's blocks we have content so if I were to click on any of the elements on the template it says there's no um, text properties or if I say click on the more complicated one you can see you can show title show button show image so there's a lot that you can do with this email builder and we'll include the link where you can watch the videos how to efficiently create those templates. So for testing purposes I will just go ahead and save this to eTiger. The template gets then automatically filled in into this window. We'll hit save and this is the template that has been created. Next we need to go back to our email marketing window and hit refresh so then we can see this template show up here we'll select it and go to the next step. Next, since we selected our records template, we need to look through and confirm that everything's correct. So we have our template, we have our com campaign name, who the sender is, the list and how many records of each. So if I do preview, I can see all of the records that are part of this campaign. I can scroll through to make sure that it's all correct close this then we can look at our preview of the template the template looks good we'll close it and next you can send a test email you can send emails right away or you can schedule to do it later let's pick an option with schedule later and what this allows you to do is say you can schedule this email to go out on the 29th at 10 a.m. And in addition, say I only want to send 200 emails every 30 minutes so we don't overload our server as well as the email account so, it does, so the emails don't get treated as spam. Um, once you're done, hit save. It gives you a confirmation. So many emails will be queued and sent. 200 emails every 30 minutes. Hit yes. Another confirmation that it has been queued. Once we hit OK, we'll then get redirected to the campaign we just created. And you can see we have all the details that we entered. We have a total of emails queued, 
and there's no data to show because the emails have not yet been sent and they will be sent on 29th at 10 a.m. So as emails go out you will start to see numbers populating in this area and the chart will then have information on it. And that um, sums up the email marketing extension for vTiger. If we go back to the list we can see the campaign we just created and you can also see the totals on the list. Again those fields are all available in the reports, views, as well as on detail view.